Well, to me, we're no further than we were the day we began. For Maggie Doherty, every day is a struggle. A struggle to find well answers, a struggle to find her missing daughter. I don't think the search is going as well as it could be, and I don't think the efforts being put forth that needs to be put forth. She is frustrated by the lack of progress to find Erica in almost a year and a half since her disappearance. It's like something's being swept under the rug. I just can't get that out of my mind. It's something's being hidden. Erica Frazier's picture is one of the many included in this new CD entitled Among the Missing. Proceeds from the music benefit the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Erica's case is also included in John Walsh's new book, No Mercy. Maggie hopes the national exposure will help create new leads in Erica's case. The lead investigator in this case could not talk on camera, but he tells me in two weeks they plan to give a lie detector test to one person they feel might be connected to this case. Now in January, search dogs were called in here to this parking lot and field behind the new Bracken County High School after an anonymous caller said Erica's body was buried here. They found nothing. The community has not forgotten about Erica. Outside Sue Kohlmeyer's house stands two angels holding her picture. For a small community, we're shocked that it happened here in Brooksville. I mean, we used to go out and leave our doors unlocked. Now I lock my doors. I need answers. I'm not going to sit around here for the rest of my life not knowing where Erica is. Investigators say they won't give up until those answers and Erica are found. In Brooksville, Valerie Miller, Channel 9 News.